Hi, my name is Warren Pearson and we're out at the Field Extension Education Lab today looking at our corn rootworm demonstration. So this area has been in continuous corn for at least six years, likely much greater than that. And uh, we plant half of it to BT traded corn and then the other half is non-traded corn. So it's just Roundup ready only and we're not using any soil applied insecticides with that. So we're generally trying to cause this issue to happen, which is major corn rootworm damage on corn. And a couple nights ago, we had 1.7 inches of rain along with strong winds that got this corn leaning over. And the root systems definitely did not help with that situation. So even before the winds came through and knocked everything over, this corn was starting to show drought stress before most of the other corn in this, these, this area. We have been extremely dry for the last month until we got that rain. And so that's really exacerbating the problem. So it's making it quite a bit worse. So without the root systems, the plants are just stressed so much worse than they would be if they had healthy root systems. We've also seen quite a few of the adult uh, form of corn rootworm flying around. Most of them appear to be Western corn rootworm and they feed on the silks and causes damage that way too. So not only the larvae feed on the roots, but also the adults can cause damage by feeding on the silks as well. And I've been seeing more out here than I've ever seen before. Um, a lot of people use yellow sticky traps to keep up on uh, the numbers in the field. So they check those once a week to see and put new ones out to see what the populations are like. And um, we just don't have any of those out this year. So most of the time, uh, corn before tassel can straighten back up if it's leaned over like this, they'll call it goosenecked. But a lot of times after R1 or R2, the corn won't really straighten back up. And so this corn would be a nightmare to harvest. It's gonna be really slow the combines down because they have to slow down to try to harvest everything effectively. Yeah, let's see if we can find them. Ooh, here's some right here. There's quite a few right here. Um, right there's one. They're quick though, right there. And right down in here, let's go see if I can find. Yeah, they're just flying around me right now. Right here, there's a bunch. Anytime we get close, they just bounce around though. I can see there are shadows on all the leaves. Yeah, I've gotten almost seasick. It's like corn will be doing this when you're trying to harvest. So it's not fun. And it costs a lot of money to have combines operating too because those are, some of those are half million or more dollar machines. So every extra hour you put on is pretty expensive. All right, so. What is this kind of, what is this right here? So this is one of the fully traded uh, packages that we have out here. And so there is some wind damage that some of the corn is leaning over, but some of this could be refuge in the bag uh, that is actually leaning over. And then the other problem too is once the wind started, it's kind of like dominoes falling over. Uh, it's pretty easy for other stuff to go down too. But a lot of this corn is standing extremely well considering the wind that came through and considering the damage that's right next to it. And how is this different from the other corn? So this is BT traded corn and it has uh, both above ground and below ground traits. Wow. 